Hello everyone, it's Thursday, June 24th, 2021. It's 72 Fahrenheit, 22 Celsius, and it's 9.30 in the morning. I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of the landing and promenade park in Fort Wayne, Indiana today. These two locations were my favorite areas in Fort Wayne when I stayed. This area, the landing, is also running along Columbia Street. And back in the 1800s, this area was developed largely due to the Wabash and Erie Canal. This entire street used to be a canal, but now it is all developed and up and coming. You see there, there are spaces for lease. There's also several excellent restaurants around here including this one over here which i personally ate at the nawa inspired asian cuisine it's a lot of southeast asian dishes but they do have um, other options as well here's a coffee bar and kitchen utopian coffee and kitchen And this one over here, Mercado, I saw was very busy last night. And here's the Landing Beer Company, Beer and Barbecue. Hello. The Alto Grotto, Wood Fire Pizza and Tap House. There's a home furnishing store over here called uh, House to Home, decor, staging, and design. There's even some history over here with this plaque. You can reconfirm what I said about the history here. For nearly a century, the principal business street of Fort Wayne. Let me see if I can go to this side. Yeah, it's better for lighting. The principal business street of Fort Wayne, named for Dana Columbia Hotel and Canal Boat Operator. It was the terminal for passengers and freight arriving and departing via stagecoach and canal. Look at that, many of Fort Wayne's first appear on the street, post office, hotel, newspaper, theater, and railroad station. Now it's known as the landing. And this is what the area looks like now. That's the police headquarters building. And then in the background, that one is the Allen County Courthouse. Well, let's make our way over to the Promenade Park now. It's one of Fort Wayne's newer attractions and it was my favorite park when I visited Fort Wayne. You can see here this street here. It's called Dock Street. Presumably this is where all the boats docked. Kind of even looks like a dock still. Now there's a train station here or train, uh, train tracks rather. And I've also noticed that there's a lot of development around here. I think they want to attract more people to this area, building new buildings and apartments. I can already tell that this area is going to be rapidly developing. 
with the beautiful park just nearby. And even the park is still under construction. They're trying to connect it over to the neighboring Headswater Park. You know, this kind of looks like a train station, but I'm not sure if it's in revenue service or not. It definitely looks like it's outdated and needs some work. So right there is Promenade Park. This over here is some construction. They've got a stop sign. All right, so here we are at Promenade Park. There's also a rental company here for electric bikes. I mean, not electric bikes, electric scooters and pedal bikes here. The scooters cost a dollar to start and 25 cents a minute to use. And the bikes are a dollar to start and five cents a minute to use. Got a beautiful rock fountain here. And nice white sculpture. Kind of looks like a butterfly a little bit. But the name is called Convergence by Linda Howard, 2018. And this is a great neighborhood park. You've got a lot of flowers here, nice water flow, some chairs. even some people here taking pictures. Got some beautiful plants here. The bees are busy pollinating them. It's also a beautiful robin giving us their voice up in the tree there. Over here is a outdoor seating area with picnic tables, public restrooms over there. And in this corner over here, there's a restaurant. I actually went into this restaurant during one of my live streams. Yeah, they're not open yet. They didn't put all their chairs out but this is called the Trouble Riverside Cafe and Tap. Oh wow, they open much later. Today it opens at 4 p.m. It's uh, 
too early in the morning for them to open right now. I'll get back to this area later, but I want to show you the sprinklers over here to the right. Right now we're looking at the St. Mary's River, one of three rivers in the area that run through Fort Wayne. They even call this area as Three Rivers. Oh wow, they're doing some uh, promotion for this boat ride here, ridesweetbreeze.org. When I came by here yesterday, there were a lot of children here playing in the fountain. Plenty of areas to sit. This section over here is known as the Sweetwater Bandshell. And then over here in this section, you've got a foosball table and cornhole over here. Last time I was here though, the foosball didn't have a ball, so I don't know where it went. And also the ping pong tables or table tennis. There's no balls here either, just the paddle boards. But let me make my way back over to that bridge again. And I'll do a walkthrough of the north side of the park. which I think is very fabulous as well. Also what's great about this area too are these swing sets. You've got three so you could relax over here and see a great view of the St. Mary's River along with all the boats that come past here. This over here is a wrought iron bridge built by Canton, Ohio. No, uh, built in Canton, Ohio. It's the wrought iron bridge company that made this bridge. I believe this may be a railroad bridge, but I really couldn't find any information about it. It's definitely very impressive to walk across.
Let me see if this has any information on this side. No, it still says the same thing. But I'm gonna walk over another section of the park now. This is the Park View Tree Canopy Trail. Another gorgeous area. Here you can see the bridge from this side. This is such a nice area for you to come and relax and take a stroll through the trees. There's also an area down here. I saw some people setting up some events and there's also a boat launch there. This bridge over here is the Harrison Street Bridge. It also carries automobile traffic. While the other one, the uh, wrought iron bridge is only pedestrian traffic. On this side of the park, you have a beautiful playground for children. Last time when I was here, I saw many people playing here. There's plenty of slides. There's also a rock climbing area and musical instruments in the back. And several obstacles for the children to play on. And over on this side, you have uh, bike rentals as well as boat rentals, I believe. Let me uh, check it out over here. Yeah, it has to be a boat rental place because all the boats are hanging from the bottom of the bridge there. Fort Wayne Outfitters, established 2007. <laughs> Looks like this is a bike shop, Fort Wayne Outfitters and Bike Depot. But gorgeous building. Anyway, everyone. I'll be ending my video here. If you enjoyed watching it, please smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.